Hello, in this video, we're going to solve this recursion formula. We have x sub 1 equal to 1 and x sub n plus 1 equal to x sub n plus 2. And the goal is to find a formula like x sub n equals and then some stuff that doesn't depend on previous terms. We want basically a formula for x sub n that is not uh, recursive. So solution. So for problems like this, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. We're just going to take a very simple approach. We're just going to start writing down the terms and then hope we find a pattern. So x sub 1, that's going to be equal to 1. So we'll just write that down. Let's look at x sub 2. So to figure out x sub 2, we're going to use this over here. And so this is going to take the place of the number 2. So if we're going to force n plus 1 to be equal to 2, that means that n is equal to 1. So this is equal to x sub 1 plus 2 which is equal to 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3. You can write it as 3 if you want to. Uh, I'm going to um, leave it like this. So let's look at x sub 3. In this case, whenever 3 is equal to m plus 1, that means that n is 2. So this is x sub 2 plus 2. So that's going to be equal to, well, x sub 2 was 1 plus 2, so this is 1 plus 2, plus 2. So notice we have two twos here, and we have one two here, and we have zero twos here. So already you see a pattern starting to develop, and I think that is very, very key. So I'm going to write this as plus 0 times 2. I'm write this as plus 1 times 2. I'm going to write this as 1 plus 2 times 2, right? Because 2 plus 2 is 2 times 2. You have two twos, right? So let's look at x sub 4. Maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. In this case, 4 is going to take the place of n plus 1, so n is equal to 3. So this is x sub 3 plus 2, which is equal to, and we know x sub 3 is right here, so it's 1 plus, well, or it's even right here. I'll write it like this, 2 plus 2, then another 2. This time we have three twos, so this is 1 plus 3 times 2. Right, if you have 2 plus 2, it's 2 times 2. Think of it as x plus x, that's 2 times x. It's just a different way to add. Most people think of 2 plus 2 as being equal to 4, which it is, but it's also equal to 2 times 2. And you want to think of it that way when you're looking for patterns and problems like this. So we have x sub 1 is 0 times 2. x sub 2 is, uh, rather 1 plus 0 times 2 is 1 plus 1 times 2. x sub 3 is 1 plus 2 times 2 x sub 4 is 1 plus 3 times 2. So you'll notice now that this is always 1 less. Let me use a different color here to indicate that. So the 0 is 1 less than 1. This 1 is 1 less than 2. This 2 is 1 less than 3. This 3 is 1 less than 4. So x sub 5 should be equal to 1 plus 4 times 2. Let's check. Plugging it in, we get x sub 4 plus 2 which is equal to 1 plus 3 times 2, that's x sub 4, plus 2, which is 1 plus, you have 3 2s and you have 1 2, so that gives you 4 2s, etc. At this point, I think the pattern is pretty clear. We can see that x sub n is equal to 1 plus, and it's always 1 less, so n minus 1 times 2. And this should be valid for n greater than or equal to 1. Let's go ahead and clean this up. x sub n is equal to 1 plus, 2 times n is 2n, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, so this is going to be 2n minus 1. Writing it one more time, x sub n is equal to 2n minus 1, for n greater than or equal to 1. And that is the formula that we wanted. I went that pretty quickly, but the idea is that sometimes it's really important to just not add the numbers, right? Because you, you can, but it's sometimes harder to find the pattern uh, when you do that. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.